I am Dr. Venkat Kumar, Consultant Bariatric and Minimal Access Surgeon at Care Hospital Nampalli. We have been doing all minimal access surgical procedures as well as bariatric surgeries. We have a very specialized team to look after the pre-op as well as intra-op and post-operative management and excellent nutritional and gastroenterological support to assess and access and help all the issues related to bariatric medicine as well as bariatric surgeries. We have an excellent support staff in the form of theatres, nursing staff and dietitian to support these bariatric cases. Bariatric cases are a unique set of cases where the patient doesn't feel that he is unhealthy or diseased. Normally we operate on patients who are diseased, but bariatric patients are not diseased as such. They have some other problems which are related to obesity. Obesity was previously considered as just overweight. You check the weight of your own uh, person and decide that whether he is obese or not. But there has been a worldwide universal terminology to assess obesity, which is body mass in index or BMI. The BMI is calculated according to the height and weight of the person and the patient is assumed to be overweight, normal, underweight, obese, super obese, which are the various classifications. Depending upon the weight of the person according to his height, we classify into each of these criteria and offer surgical proce uh, procedures for them depending on their BMI. Normally, we offer uh, surgical procedures that is bariatric surgeries for patients who are more than 35 BMI kg of BMI, 35 kg per square meter of BMI. For patients who are under these and above normal levels, we advise them dietary support, physiotherapy and good walking and exercises which are also included in our support staff measures to reduce weight for these patients. Now what are the problems with overweight or the problems faced by obese people? It is, it is the, last the last important thing for an obese patient is to look odd. But the more important and very serious issues for these obese patients are future cardiac, future diabetic problems, future hypertension or many other problems which are related to obesity but will develop in a slow and graded fashion. And but as the age progresses, the likelihood of the obesity coming down also comes down. So, we advise surgery for patients or to the people who are more than 35 kg per square meter of BMI. Bariatric surgery is not a single surgery, it is a set of surgeries which can be tailored according to the BMI and also the nature of food eating habits of the patients and the other comorbidities associated with the patients and more importantly the patients likeliness of being in touch or in follow up because the patient also forms an integral part of the team which decides what surgery has to be performed on a particular patient. This is because the patient has to be educated enough and to understand what his life is going to be after surgery. It will never be the same as it was before surgery that is why he has put on weight but now he has to understand that losing weight is his major goal and we are facilitating the process of losing weight in a technical manner. See there are different surgeries like gastric banding, sleeve gastrectomy, mini gastric bypass, ruin by gastric bypass, duodenal switch all and biliopancreatic diversions. These are different surgeries and are tailored according to the patient's BMI. In our Indian scenarios or more to say Asian scenarios, the BMIs are around 40 to 45, whereas in the Western communities, they can be more than 50 also. But we cannot give one surgery to all universally uh, obese patients. It depends upon the BMI. In our Indian scenario, most preferred surgeries would be sleeve gastrectomy. Previously, the surgery, surgeries were done in an open manner where the abdomen was opened and all the surgeries were being done. But now everything has transformed. This is the introduction of technology into medicine as well as surgery. It is nowadays everything is done by laparoscopic procedures. Laparoscopic procedures are minimally invasive surgeries that are we do small holes into the abdomen, instill gas and perform the surgeries. 
the reason why there is a shift to from open surgeries to laparoscopic surgeries is the post operative comfort the patient is going to have he will be out of bed and into normal in more than in less than 3 to 5 days and the complaint of pain which is the nightmare for all post operative patients is less than 10 as per 10% of the what the in initial pain would have been if the surgery would have been done in an open method so it is minimally invasive for getting the same results and good outcome with significant reduction in the percentage of pain the patient is going to experience so what do we do in most of these bariatric surgeries the gastric banding and the sleeve gastrectomy are restrictive procedures where we employ different methods to reduce the intake by this patient whereas in the other procedures as i mentioned like the ruven y gastric bypass mini gastric bypass and biliary pancreatic diversions and urinal switches where we are meddling with intestinal physiology and inducing some amount of malabsorption into the patient's diet that is the patient will be able to take the same amount but the amount of nutritional requirement the patient is going to absorb from the intestine is drastically reduced so that is how weight loss happens the degree of weight loss is far more superior in the malabsorptive procedures rather than the restrictive procedures but at the same time the restrictive procedures are ha having less amount of side effects and need not be dependent on medications in the post operative period whereas the Malabsorptive procedures requires the patients to be in follow up with the doctor and having periodical checkups and investigations for his rest of his life.